Hi everyone, in the series of Systematic Literature Review, today we are going to discuss Prisma. I'm sure in my previous video, Systematic Literature Review, that is clear and clearly we have differentiated between Systematic Literature Review and Scope Review. And But in this series, I'm talking about Prisma because number of researchers, they had asked me Prisma technology, how we have to use, what, how we have to use this software. What do you mean by Prisma, right? So we have to, we will try to answer all these questions through Prisma. So first of all, we will understand Prisma, a full form of Prisma, how we have to denote Prisma. So Prisma stands for Preferred Reporting Items for Systematic Reviews and Meta-Analysis. So here is, this is the evidence-based minimum set of items for reporting in systematic reviews and meta-analysis. So the aim behind this Prisma statement is to help authors improve the reporting of systematic reviews and meta-analysis. So you understand it is the way of the presentation through which clearly we can represent our work, right, in a flow diagram manner. So here is the importance of systematic review and development of Prisma. Systematic reviews are meta-analysis, are rigorous studies that are used to collate all available empirical evidence that confirms to a predefined set of eligible criteria to address a specific hypothesis. But how we have to define Prisma in the form of flow diagram, I have just taken one simple uh, this uh, uh, flow diagram, but we will discuss Prisma complicated diagram, flow diagrams also how we have to fit in all the values in this flow diagram, how we have to reach our conclusion. So the Prisma flow diagram visually summarizes the screening process. It initially records the number of articles found and then makes the selection process transparent by reporting on decisions made at various stages of the systematic review and numbers of articles are recorded at the different stages. So now I am moving towards how you have to use Prisma. Let me open this Google search engine and simply you have to type here is Prisma systematic review. So when you have to enter this, that is the first one is the link www.prismastatement.org. A moment you will click on this, then you have to reach on this interface. So here is the complete description about the Prisma, right? But we are more concerned about, you can find history also on this particular website. What is Prisma? When it was Prisma? You can see 2020 checklist, flow diagram statement, etc. So we have to go to Prisma statement. And after this, and all these things you can read here, then we come to the flow diagram because my main concern to flow diagram, how we have to report in our research paper through this flow diagram. So first of all, we will click here on this Prisma flow diagram. That is the Word document. You can easily download this document. You can put the values in this document and you can... Uh, report in your research paper or in a thesis, PhD thesis. So let me, I'm just going for another one uh, flow diagram that is a little bit different, right? You can see identification screening included. And here is, you can see identification studies via database and registers. And here is identification of studies via other methods. Let's say you had considered any Scopus database, you had considered Web of Science, or, and uh, through other database, other, other sources also you had considered. So you have to fill all these numbers in this template and uh, you can find your final values, those you are including for your research.
Then we come to the, here is you can see flow diagram can also be generated using a shiny app available at this. So I'm more interested in this particular app because that would automatically calculate, machine will calculate your final number. So let me go there a moment. I had clicked this kind of flow diagram. I just want to calculate this diagram. This, this, I would like to feed the values for this particular flow diagram. So what I have to do, let me click here, follow this link to access the online tool. That means there is all the, this is the tool through which you have to put your numbers. I'm I think uh, there is a, some issue. Let me check. Mm, yes, now it's open. Choose CSV file. So CSV file format, when you have to download choose CSV file, it will download this to CSV file, right? And uh, here is download the template of CSV file. You have to click here, then CSV file template is downloaded. Then you can see what is CSV file, what should be the template of this CSV file that would be read by this uh, particular software. And here is you can browse this also. Now I am more interested to create flow diagram. So let me click here. Now you can see this is my flow diagram. So you can see previous studies included or not included, not included and other searches for studies. So when you have to click here included, right? So that would automatically these things would be either, either these things would be removed right from your flow diagram and here is check click to reset and again it will i mean whatever is your you had selected that would reset now let's say i just want to say database let's say 435 database i have got from uh, this uh, scopus database so now you can see 435 moment i had entered that would be reflected here and if i will talk about registers let's say i'm just writing 14 that is my, so you can see n equal to 14, right? Duplicate, let's say there are uh, around 65 entries are duplicate. So moment I had entered 65 entries are duplicate. You can see duplicate records n equal to 65 that would be reflected over here and automatically excluded other exclusion screening. Each and everything is properly given. And finally, new studies included in your review right and reports of new included studies everything that would be here right and reports excluded reports not retrieved records excluded those you don't want because that is not your concern of your research so why we are including these kind of research we must exclude these kind of research so i mean here is these number you can exclude and finally beauty of this software you can see here download pdf either pdf you can download or png you can download right let's say i'm just downloading png and uh, after that PNG, it would be looks like this. You can see that would be the complete, right? That would be reflecting over here. And same thing you can report in your research paper or in your, uh, I mean, PhD thesis. So I'm sure you understand what is Prisma, how we have to apply, how we have to use this software. I hope this video would be helpful. Keep watching. Thank you.